This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's have a high level look at the latest text to video generation model from NVIDIA. So they say that you can generate high resolution video synthesis with latent diffusion models. Okay, high resolution videos can be generated. And they say that uh, videos can be generated uh, using state of art text to image stable diffusion. Okay, uh, so that can be used, stable diffusion model can be used to generate expressive text to video model with resolution up to 1280 into 2048. Okay, they can also generate long videos as well as short videos. So this has been published as a research paper and some interesting demo videos are present over here. Right, so for example, let's see what is this, this looks like a panda. So a panda standing on a surfboard in the ocean in sunset 4K high resolution. Okay, so this video has been generated. Here you have a dancing fox, a fox dressed in the suit dancing in park. Right, so from this text prompts, these videos have been generated. So these are cherry picked examples which are shown over here. Unless we have access to the models, we can't really say what is the quality of video which has been generated. Okay, so but uh, you know what is the difference from say Google image and video and other uh, you know text to video what is the um, difference over here all right so for that i just had a look at the paper okay so what they are saying is that um, they are um, talking about you know converting a pre-trained latent diffusion model into a video generator okay so how are they doing it uh, they are doing it by inserting temporal layers Okay, that learn to align frames into temporally consistent sequences. Okay, so in a latent diffusion model, they are introducing something called temporal layers. Okay, uh, so during optimization, the image backbone or the latent diffusion models is frozen, right? Only the parameters of the temporal layer are trained. Okay, so basically during training, the base model inter interprets the input sequence of length t as a batch of images. Okay, for the temporal layers, these batches are reshaped into video format. Their output is actually combined. Okay, that is what is shown over here. The output is combined with spatial output from the spatial layer using a learned merge parameter alpha. So what they are saying is during inference, they can skip these temporal layers. It is the original image model. So what is the advantage of having this temporal layer? So what they are saying is your latent diffusion model itself can be used to directly render a video of T consecutive frames, but then it will fail because it has, the model has no temporal awareness. So they are introducing that temporal neural network layer, okay, which are interleaved with existing spatial layers and learn to align individual frames in a temporally consistent manner or time aware consistent manner. Okay. So that is what is explained over here. And they say that because, uh, you know, what is a crucial advantage over their strategy is that they can use huge image data sets to train the latent diffusion model by just switching off this temporal attention layer. Okay. Uh, by, you know, switching off this alpha, by making this alpha parameter as one, they can actually just train the this thing. And only when they need to, when you have few videos to be trained, because video data is less, then they will train the temporal attention layer. Okay, that is what they say over here. So this is short video generation. Okay, then the next part is if you want to generate long videos, how do you do that? Okay, so if you want to generate, uh, you know, uh, large or long videos, okay, not large, long videos, basically, what they are saying is that um, their strategy is first to generate using the latent diffusion model, you know, key frames, right? Um, so that there, there are some key frames which could be generated. Okay. So from the key frames, you give the key frames back to this uh, particular uh, short video generator, you can get a set of videos, right? And then you can combine the videos. So that is one approach which can be done. Okay. So that is the first approach which they talk about, right? Uh, but then uh, there could be issues in that in terms of, you know, uh, what happens is that uh, you can create high resolution videos like that uh, using keyframes with large semantic changes, but 
you can only do it at a relatively low frame rate because of memory constraints so they are introducing an additional model the task is to interpolate between keyframes okay so that is the additional model over here which will actually uh, you know interpolate between keyframes that is what they have explained over here which, which will just interpolate between keyframes right so there are two such models for key latent frame interpolation it happens in the latent space not in the image pixel space okay it happens in the latent space of the latent diffusion model okay then ha they have a latent diffusion decoder to decode these latent uh, frames into image pixels image frames right and then they uh, have an uh, they have trained an upsampler uh, diffusion model okay to actually upsample the uh, pixels into your high quality videos okay so that is so you can also have personalized video generation uh, so here temporal uh, layers that were trained for video ldm for text to video synthesis into image ldm backbones uh, that was previously fine to on a set of images using this uh, dream booth kind of model okay so here you have training images for dream booth from these images you can give a text prompt like this right sks cat playing in the grass and this is the video which has been generated so this is some kind of personalized video generation okay so here you have uh, sks building next to the fl tower this is the text prompt and these were the images which were given as training for the dream booth diffusion model okay then they have examples of convolutional in time synthesis uh, so they explored synthesizing slightly longer videos by applying our learned temporal layers convolutionally in time okay which created this long 7.3 second long clips which have been rendered at 24 frames per second and you know uh, they are saying that there is a degradation in quality yeah actually you can see this right uh, yeah, so that is this. Then they also train this video uh, latent diffusion model in the real world, in the wild real driving scene videos. Here we are additionally training prediction models to enable long video generation. They have five minute videos also. So here there is some example of videos, but I also see some quality degradation over here, right? It's uh, you know you can easily make out that this is not a proper driving video it's a generated video okay then they talk about some specific driving scenario simulation and the multi-model i'm not going into it okay yeah so this was about the new text to video synthesis from nvidia uh, the key is that you can generate high definition video over here you know high resolution video basically and uh, they do this by making use, they can make use of existing latent diffusion models like stable diffusion by introducing additional temporal layers which are, you know, trained. And the, the latent diffusion models can be frozen. That is a key um, approach which I am seeing over here. And uh, this is the animation which talks about, you know, how the temporal alignment because of that, your uh, video frames are kind of aligned. But this is for short video okay the long video follows a different process over here right but it makes use of this short video uh, temporal um, you know uh, the video diffusion model basically with this temporal alignment okay with the temporal neural network layers trained i will put a link to this particular web page and the paper so you can have a look at it for further understanding it took me multiple readings to even come up to this level uh, it's becoming more and more difficult to understand some of these papers in the way they have been written and uh, to keep up with this technology i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video